Hello, I'm Sharon. Welcome to Sharon's Place. Today I'm canning purple hull peas in the raw pack method. I am warming them up some after I wash them and pick through them. I cold pack them according to the uh, lima bean recipe for cold packing in a Presto canner. This is my Presto canner book. It gives the instructions for lima beans fresh raw pack. Uh, for this canner here, and I'm going to treat both canners the same way. One and a half inches headspace in my quart jars. Or I just fill them up to about right here with peas, and then I put water in there until I measure my one and a half inches because they will expand. They're a starchy product that does expand, especially if there happens to be any that's a little bit dry in there, and uh, they will rise up when they expand. But it says here in this canner, 11 pounds pressure, that's for my altitude, for 40 minutes for pints and 50 minutes for quarts. This is my ruler. You see the one, two, three mark? And it is at three inches. And here's my splash of white vinegar, not much just about a tablespoon or two. That is because of our calcium rich water. Now this canner has two quarts of hot water in it and it says to put three in it. Also, on the rim of this, a very light coating of olive oil is used. I spray my fingertips and just rub around there and that helps with the seal. It also helps it to keep from getting stuck on when the metals expand because there is no rubber seal. It is metal to metal. On the Presto, there is a rubber seal, a thick one. See, the All-American has the white with the holes in it and it jiggles a little, it spews, and it also has the gauge. And the Presto has a gauge and a solid weight that does not jiggle. There's my jars washed, ready to go. This is canning salt, pickling and canning salt that I use, but I pour a little bit in a small jar. Use a metal spoon to dip out about a spoonful per quart. Okay, these are my pots that I use for boiling water. I have two tea kettles here. I keep water boiling all the time. This is where I put my lids. I like to get my lids warm. I know we don't have to do that anymore. I think the tattler rings for the tattler lids, maybe you do, but it's to soften up the rubber on them. And when the peas will turn dark on the top, they're perfectly all right to eat. Uh, I've canned them for many years and that's the way they do. You just mix them in, but if you don't like the looks of them, you can dip out the very top. Most of you may have heard of tattler lids. This is what the box looks like. This is a small one. This is what the cap looks like. Right now I'm putting boiling water over my jar and over my lids. I'm not going to simmer them. I'm just putting some hot water there. And I'm going to do about one to two jars at a time. I don't really have to do this step, but I just feel better doing it. This is my peas, and they are in a little bit of water. I like to put my teaspoon of salt in first. I put it in. I dip out. Enough of the peas, I'm kind of messy. And as you can see, I've only filled it to about the shoulder level. Now, I'm going to put hot water in there. I'm going to debubble. bubble 
like that. I'm going to check my head space. I, it's supposed to be one and a half inches. I'm going to wipe my jar rims. I always kind of run my finger around it as a last check of the jar. There's my lid. And as you can see, they're floating a little. Whoops. You see that? So they're not packed too tight because there will be some expansion. Then I like my jar lifter tool. I take that. I go over to the canner. And put it in the canner. Ready for my next jar. This time I'm going to get a tattler ring. See this ring? Tattler ring and a tattler flat top where it's got the rim around there. Put the ring on that. Do my last check. Make sure there's no salt or anything on my jar. Got to make sure that ring stays in place. When you put the band on this jar like this, I gently hold it a little bit until I feel a little resistance and then I do it that way and that's supposed to be tight enough on the tattler jars. I do it a little tighter, fingertip tight on the regular jars. Put it in the canner. Okay, you see that? Look how full that water is. It's to right there in this canner. That's my All-American one. This is the Presto. I had three full quarts and one pint. This will be processed for that pint the same as the quarts. To keep from having negative space and to keep the jars from falling over, uh, I put three jars full of water, no lids in there. That's just to give it some weight and to help hold the heat to make it easier on the timing part. All right, I'm gonna turn you back around when I put the lids on, the lids to the canners that is. Okay, the All-American, this one. Notice the burners are not on. I just took a little squirt of my olive oil. You don't want much, just a little bit to go around. Now I'm going to put the lid on. There is a notch right here and an arrow on the lid. You put the arrow lined up with the notch. I pull up the knobs on opposite sides and do not tighten yet. I check with this to make sure they're about even and just give them a little bit of a tighten down. Not much. Just to keep them from falling down, I check to make sure one's not tighter than the other. You do opposite sides. See there's a pretty big gap there. Not so much on this side. So this side would be tightened down a little more than the other side to start with. Then I go back around and check again. I tighten the first two pretty tight. The second two tighten and the last two tighten. Now, it should be ready to go. I keep this on a string to keep from misplacement, but it does get hot, so you have to be careful of that. I'm going to turn the burner very low, starting out, because the peas are still maybe a little cool. When they start to warm, the canners start to feel good and warm. I'll turn that up until the steam starts to come out. 
and the timing is done on the steaming. As you can see, the Presto canner is beginning to vent. It needs to vent a solid stream of steam for about seven to 10 minutes. It has been 10 minutes that it's been venting out this port. I'm gonna put the pressure weight on. This valve right here, this metallic valve, will soon pop up and when it does, the pressure gauge will start rising. I'll have to watch it close and at 10 pounds, I mean, I'm sorry, this one I think I said 11 pounds according to the Presto canner book. It uh, used to be 10 pounds. And when it gets up to there, then I will start t backing off on my burner, turning it down. Okay guys, I want to show you that the, see the little valve that's popped up there and the pressure will start to rise soon on the Presto canner. I'm able now to vent or to time the venting. It's going to be 7 to 10 minutes on the All-American. Well, it's time to put the weight, the pressure weight, on the All-American canner. It's a little tricky to do because it gets pretty hot. There we go. Now, the pressure is regulated two ways on this canner through the gauge, the dial gauge on the left, which I'm going to try to get at 11 pounds, but I might have to cut it back at 10. And the 10 pound weight that's right there, I've got it on the 10 pound hole. Um, it will jiggle when it gets to 10 pounds. And you don't want to jiggle more than two or three times a minute. The Presto is gaining pressure, as you can see. Even though the Presto canner, its pressure weight was put on before the All-American, the All-American is not to pressure. Do you hear it jiggling? And it is right on 11 pounds. But it's jiggling a little bit too frequently, so I'm going to have to turn it down. And I might as well say that other one's almost 11 pounds. So. One thing I want to say is don't let your pressure go below the recommended amount or you have to start your timer all over again. Um, one pound might not be so bad if it just happened once or twice, but any more than that and you would have to start that pressure, all, uh, the timing of the pressure all over again. Stay with it. Watch it close and don't get distracted. Be safe. Well, hey y'all, they're done, so I'm turning the burners off. Well, they're done. The pressure has gone down to zero, and on my Presto canner, I just heard this little metallic valve pop down. So I'm going to start with it. I'm moving you around just a little bit, sorry. See? No steam exhaust um, sounds made, so that means that the pressure was all gone. And now I'm going to take out the jars. It shows to be the dial gauge shows down to zero, and I'm going to barely wobble this a little bit. It had just a tiny bit of steam in it, but it's all right. Still a lot of water in there. Well, everybody, I've got 10 quarts and one pint of Purple Hall Peas canned. This was my method for canning them in raw pack, and that's how I do it, and that's what they look like. Well, thanks for coming by. Give me a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, and watch my other videos.